Well, I'm back out here. I wanted to start the tractor again and start doing some tests. And I wanted to get that tank in. And that ain't going to happen. Because even when I unbolt the cowling now, or the dashboard assembly, and I try and push that back as far as I can, it still won't fit. I can't get it in there. It was a tight fit getting it out. But I had the valve cover off at that point. And actually, I had the head off because uh, I believe I had taken the tank out because I was having trouble getting the head to clear it. So now with the head and the valve cover on, I can't get it on. I'm hoping that when I get the valve cover off, I'll be able to do it. But I don't want to pull the valve cover right now since I've got it sealed and running. Or I think it's running. I'm going to find out whether or not I just ran out of fuel yesterday or what happened there. But it fired up and... Uh, Seemed to be running pretty good, and then all of a sudden uh, I was running at a high RPM, and it was smoking like a chimney. And I'm thinking, well, a lot of that might have been just oil left in the cylinders that needed to be burned off. And uh, it cleared out and started looking pretty good. And then no sooner did I start to try and adjust the carburetor adjustments than it died suddenly. But then when I looked in my auxiliary fuel tank there, it was empty. So I didn't have much fuel in there. So I came out with a fresh tank of gas today. I'm going to top off that auxiliary tank and see if we can't start it again. All right, I remounted my temporary tank up there. That you know, will give me plenty of gravity flow, and it also makes it easier for me to uh, put fuel in it. I could stand up on the uh, operator platform there and reach it easily. Now, before I can drive it, i got to put these three bolts back in that hold that bracket in place. Unfortunately, I took the uh, weight off of the jack on the front there and that's not moving back into position so that I can uh, put those bolts in. I'm going to take a hammer and try and bang it back but I don't want to wail on it too much. If that doesn't work I'm going to start the engine and see whether or not if I lift the front end loader if that will uh, maybe do the trick. So I uh, won't worry about that in a minute. I just tried that bracket and it ain't going to budge so let's go with plan B. See if we can't get her to start today as nicely as she did yesterday. All right. Choke full on. Yeah, beat that with a stick. No unusual valve noise. Good oil pressure, getting about 50 pounds. No noticeable knock either. That's uh, I guess that's the throttle all the way down. Friendly uh, YouTuber, internet person, told me that the uh, throttle is down that way. All that smoke from yesterday is gone, so that must have just been residual oil. Alright, let's go and see what happens if we play with those loader controls. Alright, let's check this hydraulics that's somewhere right here. Hey! Nothing! No action from this hydraulic cylinder. What do you got here? Oh! I got oil leaking! 
Well, stupid camera just shut off again. I got some rechargeable batteries. I kind of forget which ones are charged and which ones are. And this camera doesn't really warn you when it's going to die. So I don't know what you missed, but I got an oil leak on a capillary tube that goes up to the oil sending unit. And right now I got no action out of the hydraulics in the back here. Uh, this lever appears to be what's supposed to run the lift back here and nothing's happening. So that, it's not, that's kind of a bummer. And I also appear to have no action from the power steering whatsoever. So I've got, got nothing happening with hydraulically. Of course, the front end loader has got its own independent pump and uh, reservoir and all that. So the pump is here, the return filter on it. So that might work. Yeah. He's got the pin out on this cylinder for the bucket. So I'm going to have to play with that to get that engaged. Well, it took a few tries, but I got that pin in. a lot of position. That's a pisser. I might have to reposition my bottle jack back here and push up on this uh, bracket with that. Wow. I'm thinking I'm going to shut it down and do that. Yeah, I really don't want to uh, find out what would happen if I tried to drive this thing at all with that uh, bracket undone it could be not good anyways uh what was i gonna say oh yeah the other thing i could do is while i've got it shut down is i can take a look at this leak i've got over here now this is a plastic capillary tube looks like this is a metal tube down here that comes off the block and then it looks like uh, maybe there was a problem with it corroded or it broke or something and they put a little uh, double female splice in here and put this plastic tube on and it's funny it's got a kink right there and I thought oh that's, that's not good that's gonna crack right there and leak and that, oddly enough that's not where it's leaking it's leaking up higher somewhere it might even be just right where that union is on the bottom of the, the uh, gauge so let's see all right so the jack pushed it back up but it's now it's the holes aren't lined up and it occurs to me that if I want to be able to move that around any, I probably want the weight off the front axle, so I should drop the loader back down and try and lift the front end a little with it. Well, I got one of the bolts in, but I'm having a hard time getting the other two holes to line up because I can't really swivel that bracket easily. And then it occurred to me, I remember that I used a big pry bar and I pried on, pried down, pushing this member right here down and that that loosens that up so you can move that around pretty easily so I think what I need to do is get my pry bar which I don't have with me so I got one bolt in there I'm gonna see if it's gonna move uh, the engine died out again and the first thing I did was check the fuel tank and it's empty again so this thing is sucking down gas I mean it's a 175 cubic inch engine I topped off that little lawnmower tank. It sure seemed to suck that down really fast. I checked my oil level. My oil level in the crankcase isn't rising to indicate that fuel's somehow getting into the crankcase. And there's nothing leaking out of the carb. I mean, just a little seepage around that bowl gasket, but it sure seems like it's just burning all that gas. I'll top it off again. All right, I topped it off. I think the engine might still be warm enough to start it without the choke on. Oh wow, 
while it's running, let's see if the clutch works. Well, the motor hydraulics are really hesitant. They feel like they get a lot of water or air contamination in there. I also noticed one of the lines on this side for the loader is leaking. And what's coming out looks pretty white, so okay, it's really nasty. All right. Clutch. Let's see, I don't even know what gear is what on this thing. That should be a gear right there. Hey, it moves. I want to run over my new gas can. See if I can't find reverse. Ugh. <laughs> Ah, can't get it out of gear. The hell did I do? Ah, I gotta put the camera down and muscle this. Well, I got some gears, and the uh, shifter's loosening up now that I've shifted it a little bit, so. But it doesn't really matter. I can't test all the gears anyways. I don't know the pattern, and it's just like, undrivable with the steering the way it is. It's just undrivable. I mean, it's just, even with two hands, I mean, I'm barely able to turn this wheel. Horrible. So, definitely power steering would be a big plus. Let's see if the PTO works. Clutch. I believe this is the... That should be the PTO engaged. Yeah, the PTO works. Geez, that shaft's wobbling. I can't really tell. But I still got no hydraulics here. Just trying to give some. Nothing. My oil press is dropping a little bit. Of course, that could be my leak. Small leak, but it's right on the line that feeds the uh, gauge. So, I wonder if my water temperature gauge is working. I can feel heat. Well, now you can see that tank is uh, about a third full now. I don't think I'm going to get good mileage on this thing. <laughs> well. Yeah, that's enough for today.